how to fillet and smoke some trout. Hopefully you've looked up this video because you caught some trout. So congratulations to you. Let's get these cut up, we're gonna get them marinated and in the smoker. Can't wait. It's about as basic as it gets. Have a quality knife, doesn't have to be super fancy, just quality, sharp. And all we're gonna do is cut down to the backbone. There it is, there is your filet. And I like to clean them on paper, sucks up the slime, holds them in place. Now here's your rib bones. We're gonna get under the rib bones and we're gonna cut those out. We're gonna repeat the process to the other sides, to the rest of them. We're gonna go get them marinated, washed off, get that slime off of it. But that's it, you do have some Y bones in here. A lot of times they tend to dissolve, but if they don't, um, they pick out really easy once it's smoked. So there we go, let's get them marinated in the smoker. Makes a great handle, grab them by the gills. Just cut down until you hit the backbone, turn the knife sideways, and you're gonna hear some cutting of bones. That's the Y bones and the ribs. If you wanted to know what this trout was eating, look at that. He has just been gorging on crappie minnows, it looks like. Maybe some tiny minnows, some big minnows. Use spoons when you're fishing. They absolutely are looking for minnows to eat. So there you have it. No meat wasted. And then, of course, repeat the process. Get rid of the rib bones, the cartilage. You don't want to eat that. There it is, we leave the skin on and it can sit on the skin in the smoker and it keeps it from getting your meat stuck to the smoker grates. Let's get smoking. James and Joel have joined me for this part of the process because they absolutely love this recipe. This is a dry mixture. We're gonna mix it together. We have one cup brown sugar, quarter cup salt. We're gonna mix it all together. We did our best to dry these flays of fish off and wipe the slime off the back of them. We want them as dry as they can be. And what this is actually gonna do when we put it on there it's going to suck all the rest of the moisture out of the fish. So right now, they look dry. Tomorrow, when I show you this, they are all going to be wet. The fillets may look a little bit different. What we have here is a splake and a rainbow trout, and we also have another rainbow trout we'll add to this. Here they are. There's the splake and the rainbow trout. We're going to put that dry mixture right on it. Salt, brown sugar, and we actually have two more fillets to add to this. And then we're going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator and we'll take it out tomorrow and we'll put it in the smoker. There we go, we'll put some saran wrap on it, get in the refrigerator, let it marinate all night. Um, cure is probably the correct term for it. <laughs> and then we'll pull it out tomorrow, we'll get it in the smoker. And, and it is all right to keep stacking them up. We're gonna stack one more layer on there and use the rest of our sugar. I can't wait. Now the moment we've been waiting for, getting those fish into the smoker. We want to get that smoker up to the 165 temperature and we're going to smoke them for two to three hours in there depending on the thickness um, but here's our fish from last night there they are look at all that liquid we saw we put them in there dry all of that liquid has come out of the fish we want to let it soak in there for at least 12 hours so it's been in there all night it's um yeah it's well over 12 hours now but you can let it soak in there longer you can leave it in there for two days if you want so we're gonna get in there, get it set up, get them smoking. Also, we wanna dry those fish out the best we can. We wanna get that liquid off of them. The drier they are, the better they're gonna smoke because you really don't wanna keep that moisture in it. Part of the smoking and the curing process is to get that moisture out of the fish. So we're gonna dry those off, some paper towels before we put them in there. Here's a little peek at the inside of our smoker. This tray is full of water and our wood chips. We soak those in some water. 
as well, and then you drain the water off. You only soak those for like 10 minutes. Um, but if you don't soak them, you won't get the smoke. So soak them a little bit, it'll really get the smoke flowing. Get these fish in here. The trout are done. The kids are super excited. This is their favorite trout recipe. So let's dig in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, try it out. It's their favorite. I'm sure it'll be your favorite. You guys, get outdoors. Be awesome. Try new things. Catch a trout. Be awesome outdoors. Mm, that is delicious. My favorite.